Hey guys, Andrew here with Drew Fit. I want to thank you for tuning in. Today's video topic is going to be on polyunsaturated fatty acids or PUFAs, unsaturated fats, uh, fish oils, seed oils, whichever you want to call it. Um, I just want to talk about this topic because it is a very hot one right now. Um, and I want to give you guys a core understanding as to why they are potentially harmful for you and give you a, a few solutions to overcome the damaging effects of polyunsaturated fatty acids. But before I do that, as always, if you guys can please like this video, share this video with somebody that can use this information, and also uh, subscribe to the channel and give me a follow on Instagram at DrewFit for more health tips. Now, polyunsaturated fatty acids. It is a natural fat. It does come in things like eggs or certain kinds of dairy or fruits that have fat, uh, avocados, maybe there might be little amounts of polyunsaturated fatty acids in all of these foods. That's not the issue. Um, reason being is if it was an issue, then your liver would be able to detoxify it as the liver does detoxify to keep the body in homeostasis. The issue is when you're consuming these fats that when you're going out to eat, whether it's fast food like McDonald's or Taco Bell or Chipotle, Tokyo Joe's or, you know, your local steakhouse like Texas Roadhouse, whatever, um, a lot of these foods that they're cooking, they're using insane amounts of these seed oils that are just not naturally found in nature. They're not naturally found in foods that you'd be consuming on a daily basis, and it can lead to many issues. Reason being that the core understanding of what polyunsaturated fatty acids are doing is that they're inhibiting glucose oxidation. Glucose is the main fuel source of the human body. It's the main fuel source for our organs, like our brain, um, our heart, uh, just every organ of the body. Um, runs much smoother when you're able to oxidize glucose instead of these long chain fatty acids that take a lot more energy to burn and it can lead to a lot of issues. Now I made some notes here um, because I want to keep it as base understanding as possible but at the very core uh, understand that that's what it's doing. Now you can look at this as um, somebody with diabetes. What they find in people with diabetes is that when they're urinating that their sugar levels in their urine are very high and that the sugar in their blood is very high. And the reason being is that polyunsaturated fatty acids is actually inhibiting the glucose, the sugar inside the bloodstream to actually be used by the cells. And it's just free flowing around the body and you're gonna be urinating it out. And that's why they have blood sugar issues <laughs> and need insulin so that they can utilize that sugar um, and they need to be pumping themselves with insulin on a daily basis. So that is the very base understanding. And um, when you start to uh, remove the ability to oxidize glucose appropriately, you're going to run into a lot of issues. And a few issues I put down here um, is that, number one, it can inhibit thyroid function. A lot of people with hormonal issues, um, a big thing you can look at is, you know, what does your consumption of, of polyunsaturated fatty acids look like? Are you eating out at a lot of restaurants all week? Um, you know, that could be, be at the base cause of that. Um, and what this will do essentially for the thyroid is it will slow your metabolic rate, it will slow your heart rate, it will um, lower your body temperature. And those are two tell, tall tale signs of, you know, measuring how well your thyroid is functioning is beats per minute and your body temperature. And you'll notice somebody with a sluggish thyroid is going to be low on the low end of body temperature and on the low end of, of beats per minute for their heart rate. <clears throat> Not all the time, but most of the time. Um, other things it can do, it can inhibit liver function. Like I talked about earlier, the liver's main function is to detoxify. But when you keep bombarding it with all of these toxins, and it, it's not just PUFA that you're bombarding it with. Obviously, there's a lot of other junk that you could be consuming that can make a sluggish liver. But over time, um, PUFA consumption especially can slow down liver function. And then this can lead to a lot of issues as well, a lot of immune issues, um, cancers, um, I, I wrote a note here can, uh, for um, in regards to cancer is that it can convert cholesterol into a form that promotes lipid peroxidation. Lipid peroxidation um, is something that you want to avoid, um, meaning it's it's burning fat, these long chain fats, and it can lead to things like lipofuscin. Um, a lot of what people call liver spots when they get those brown spots on their skin, they think it's from the sun or you know a sluggish liver, which in large part could be, but a lot of what I'm researching is that these polyunsaturated fatty acids 
in combination with a bad light environment can lead to a lot of these liver spots on the skin. So that's something to look into. Um, and I also put that it can cause neurodegeneration. Again, like I talked about, your organs, main fuel source, primary fuel source, the fuel source that they want is going to be glucose. But when you consume these polyunsaturated fatty acids, your body is not going to have the ability or the reserves to detoxify these polyunsaturated fatty acids and oxidize the glucose how the body should. Um, so a lot of issues that, that consuming these oils um, can lead into. And I just want to shed light on this because whenever I'm working with anybody or offering advice, I'm like, you know, let's start at this very base level so you can get the most out of the foods that you're consuming. And, uh, overconsumption of polyunsaturated fatty acids um, can also mess with the intestines, the digestive system, uh, just so many things that at the very root cause, we can look at the overconsumption of these oils. And what's fantastic is um, with this being such a big message in the health community now, and even Robert Kennedy on the new administration that's going to take over is they've been shedding light on um, you know, eliminating these seed oils uh, for a lot of the restaurants and uh, steak, sh steak and Shake, I believe, is the restaurant. Um, today, they just announced that they are going to be moving to beef tallow for cooking with their fries, which, you know, it's a start. I'm sure a lot of their other foods still have a lot of junk in it, but it's a good start. Um, you know, it's something I didn't see would be happening. And there are a lot of restaurants out there. You know, there's I live in Denver. I just saw an ad for a local burger restaurant in Denver that I'll be checking out soon. Um, that, you know, they're not, not doing, uh, any seed oils, anything like that. They're going to be cooking with beef tallow or a ghee, um, which is very cool to see. It's a cool trend, um, that I hope, you know, gains traction and then opens up more conversations down the road. But, you know, that's neither here, the, here nor there. We'll see where it ends up at. But, um, a couple things that you can do to help mitigate the damaging effects of polyunsaturated fatty acid consumption. Number one is supplement a good source of vitamin E. Um, the brand Mitolife has a very good product or Georgie with Idea Labs, and I'll link these in the description below, have really good vitamin E. Um, and if you're gonna be consuming PUFA, because you know we're human, we like to go out and have a good time and eat foods that we enjoy, take some vitamin E beforehand um, or aspirin. They both um, help prevent lipid peroxidation and help detoxify polyunsaturated fatty acids. So if you are going to indulge, you know, take the right precautions and forget about it. Just take some aspirin or take some vitamin E or both. Um, and, you know, over time, this will help detoxify from these PUFAs. The more you eliminate them in your diet, obviously it's going to take time to um, di detoxify from these polyunsaturated fatty acids um, by consuming a diet that avoids these foods um, and incorporates a lot of good foods. And another one you want to think about is um, consuming coconut oil. A lot of people talk about coconut oil actually displacing um, a lot of the polyunsaturated fatty acids within the body. And again, this is a process. Detoxifying from these fats um, could be, you know, a couple years time, but you know, you take steps each day, gradually improve and see where it goes. So um, I hope this clarifies any questions that you guys had on uh, polyunsaturated fatty acids. There's a lot more information we can dive into. And I hope that I gave you guys, you know, a very basic understanding of why you should not be over consuming these things or try to avoid it as much as possible. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please drop them below and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks guys.